What's good everyone? This is uh, Aesop Jurassic. I'm going to show you a tutorial step by step on how to back up your UMDs, compress them, put them on your memory stick, and then play them pretty much off your memory stick. Um, in order to start, you first need to have custom firmware. I'm actually running 4.01 M33-2. That's the custom firmware I have. Um, pretty much what you're going to need is a, a hacked PSP, a USB cord, a game, and um, you're going to need a UMD Gen version 4, which is going to compress your your uh, games, and I'll set up a link for that so you can download it, install it, and then just run it. Um, so let's get started. Um, first, what we got to do is we got to hit select, and it'll bring up your 3M VS H menu you want to go down to USB device it's actually on memory stick right now you want to press to the left and go to UMD disk click that and then you uh, exit out then you're going to connect your USB connect to that and um, you should pop up it should pop up um, a folder whatever drive you're running and mine's happen to be J uh, so it'll pop up with a UMD just like this sorry the quality of the film's not that good but it gets the done job done so it's gonna be like this all you want to do is you want to take it and copy it to your desktop and see it's copying just like that to the desktop um, I'm actually going to stop this because it's going to take 10 minutes so I'll pick up um, after this is stopped so see you in a second alright what's up everybody um, I'm pretty much almost done with the, the transferring of the, the UMD to my desktop if you can see it's right there there goes the game um, right here now if you install the link you're going to get a thing that looks like this, the UMD generator. Um, after you install it and stuff, I already had it installed so I should have shown it step by step on that. But uh, anyways what you're going to do is you're going to click it open. And it's going to bring, bring it up like this. And what, all you want to do is, I can't, I don't know if you can see it but it's right here is my uh, UMD and you just drag it down onto this and um, you go to you go up there to click save go down to the second one it's compressed click that then you're gonna save it um, save it in a f save it to the desktop And uh, just name it. Uh, I'm just gonna name it Shokan. And click save. Now uh, you just hit. Don't do anything. Just hit continue. And now it's generating the ISO, and um, it's gonna add it all up and then compress it. So I'm gonna stop it once again. It's gonna take a while, and um, I will see you after it compresses. Uh, what's up everybody, uh, my game actually just finished uh, compressing so and it's gonna actually look something, hold on let me just minimize this real quick it's gonna look something like this, it's gonna say whatever you named it, mine says socom.cso and then like this is the original one just show you how much uh, it actually was compressed it's um, let's see, go down, go properties um, the size of it was originally 881 MB. Now the actual thing after you compressed it is 679 MB. So it cuts down like a third of it or whatnot. Anything's better though, you know. It's gonna save some type of room. All right, so um, what do we do now? Let's see. Um, we're gonna actually come back to the PSP. Let me. Uh, just readjust this real quick. Uh, uh, let's see if you can. 
So hopefully you can see it pretty good now. Um, you're going to go back, and what you're going to do is you're going to hit select. You're going to go back down to USB device and take it off of the UMD disk. You actually want to go to the right once to memory stick. So again, it's USB device and switch it to memory stick. And just go down and exit out. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to connect back to your USB. And uh, it's going to pop up your PSP folder. Now I actually already had an ISO folder, but if you do not, just uh, make a new folder and put ISO in capitals. But you want to click on that. And all you're going to want to do is, uh, hold on a second, let me put it in a good position, like right there. Alright, um, see this is the actual game. All you got to do is just take it and copy it to your folder. And there you go, you just compressed, you pretty much just backed up your game, compressed it, and you're putting it on a memory stick. Now like I said, um, I would work with anything uh, two gigs or higher. I mean, um, depending on how much you want. I usually pay a game and that's it, delete it. So, two gigs is just enough for me. So, it's going to take seven minutes. I'm actually going to stop this recording and um, I'll show you how to set it up after this. So, I'll see you in a second. Alright, it just um, finally copied to the ISO folder. You can see it right here. So, um, just exit out. And you can exit out of the USB. And what you're going to do now is you're going to actually hit select. You're going to go down to UMD ISO mode, and it should actually be normal. You're going to go to the right to M33 driver. Then you're going to exit out. And just to show you that. Uh, it actually copied. I'm taking that out and I'm taking out the disk. See the disk is right here. There's no longer a disk in there. And I'm actually going to go down to um, games and go down to the memory card. Click on that. And there you have it. I will click on it just to show you that it actually works. I'll play with it for a little bit and um, we'll check it out. So hopefully the, um, you like what you see you can definitely use it um, again and whatever pass the knowledge on or whatever. Um, so here we go. And um, so far I've, I've noticed when I've done this and put it onto the memory card um, through the memory card it actually loads it seems like it loads a little faster than it would if you had the UMD disk in. Um, and uh, I really haven't seen loss of gameplay or you know like graphics or anything due to that nature when you compress it so um, let me just get it going okay I'm just trying to actually get to the deploy so I show you um, that it actually does work. So, and I'll be putting up other videos on how to do things too with the, the PSP and whatnot. So, um, just look out. Um, hopefully, you like. Sorry about the. The video graphics and whatnot. I don't have the greatest uh, camera to do this, but as long as I get the information out, I'm cool. Um, also, in the right column, I'll put a detailed um, instructions written out so that uh, for for any reason you get lost or don't know what's going on. So. So I'll just go play a little more and uh, you see. So hopefully you guys uh, can use this and understand it. Um, 
Have a good one.